Hi, Dyslexic Genius here at Brad Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680, or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. What I'm going to talk about is putting the decal on a horn or any decal on any phonograph. And I'll give you a few pointers. As you see the one, I've gotten it totally, I reshot it, repinstriped everything. I can bring it around here, and you can see the inside. I've done this. This is how they looked originally. Now, an interesting part about this, when you lock the horn in, you have this little angle piece down here and this little nip on the horn is. I like to put the decal here instead of up here. I think it looks more aesthetically pleasing here. So what you need is some lukewarm water, paper towel or napkin, Q-tips, your illustrious decal we're going to put on. You can get these off eBay or anywhere. And you want to get a pair of scissors. You don't want to cut these with a hobby knife. You want to cut them out. you got to look at the decal closely because you don't want to hurt these little flutes that come off the sides. Now the blue backgrounds go on steel horns and the black backgrounds go on wooden horns. You also need some tweezers, and you'll need some microscale, microset decal solvent. And this stuff is really great. What you're first going to do is you'll wet this area where we're going to put the decal, because that the microset decal solution, because that lets you slide it around a little. You need your lukewarm water and the tweezers, so you'll. Put the decal in here, you'll curl, and while I let that soak for a few minutes, we'll take a Q-tip, and we're just going to put all of that in there. And decals sit better on a gloss surface than a matte surface or a semi-gloss surface. They work better. So if you're putting them on a phonograph, you, if you varnish the outside or shellac the outside, you want it smooth and glossy before you apply the decal, then you can coat it over. We're using the Q-tip to see if the decal's sliding off. Not yet. If you have old stock decals, you have to be more careful with those because they get br brittle. What we're doing here is we're letting the glue that holds everything together get soft. Ah, there we go. Um, sometimes I use my finger, and what we're going to do, we're just going to slide that. There we go. Now what you're going to do, you're going to take a, a wet Q-tip and you're going to work from the inside out like that. And on these Victor decals, get the edges. Even me doing this, the little stick up part right here at the top. They break sometimes. That one broke a little. And what we'll do, I'll add a little more micro set from the inside here. The decal. Getting the edges.
You want to look for bubbles. And we're going to bubble out in the blue. And that's really all it is. And I think that looks very nice stuck there on the side. You see machines are stuck here. They're, you know, I got that about where I like it. I kind of get with this end piece. None of them were, if you look at a lot of horns, you'll see like this on a steel horn. They move around all over the place, you know. This is a lot of fun. It's a nice tip I wanted to show you, and that's my tip for the day.